Hey everybody, this is Dan here from Slice Engineering. I wanted to personally give you an update on Mako. If you've pre-ordered, you probably already know that the shipment of that first batch has been delayed. Uh, before I explain why, I just want to apologize. You've placed your faith in us to deliver on time, and we haven't done that. We haven't delivered on that promise. Uh, we know that many of you have been eagerly awaiting Mako, and we understand how frustrating it can be to have unmet expectations when you expected something at a certain time and it gets delayed. I hear your frustration. The whole 3D printing industry has been plagued by late deliveries for many years. And one of the things that we've done historically that we've prided ourselves on is delivering things quickly and on time when we say we're going to do it. This misstep has broken trust. And for that, I'm, I'm deeply sorry. All of you are the reason my team and I get to do what we love. And we don't take that lightly. You're owed an explanation for why that happened. Okay, so why are we late? There've been a couple compounding factors. First, we made what we thought were minor changes to the internal geometry between the last prototyping round and the production round in an attempt to simplify the manufacturing process. If you've got a background in manufacturing, you know that's pretty normal. You often iterate changes during the manufacturing process to streamline things. Unfortunately, in this case, that backfired on us, leading to a reduction in flow rates in our testing and a whole new round of prototyping that we had to go through before we could get onto production. Uh, next, once we started production, we had an issue with bar stock not holding the torque specification that we expected, and that led to us changing not only the material, but the material supplier as well. I had to make the difficult call to scrap the entire first batch of Mako hot blocks that we built because they didn't meet our torque specs, uh, just didn't meet internal specifications at all. I know all this sucks. Trust me, we'd much rather have happy customers with products in hand than scrapped inventory tying up our cash flow. But uh, early on, we decided that integrity for our customers and integrity for a product mattered a lot more than the short-term profits we could generate. And we've never wavered from that commitment. Because of your support, we've been in the business for seven years now, and we've launched around 40 products during that time. Of those 40, two have been delivered later than we originally promised to you guys, to customers. Our copyright Kickstarter campaign in the spring of 2020 was late. And of course, we all know how 2020 was. And now Mako. Our intention is always to under-promise and over-deliver. Sometimes, like with Mako, we mess that up. All I can do in this situation is apologize and say that we're doing our best to remedy it as quickly as we can. And we're taking proactive steps to prevent this type of thing from happening again in the future. What I can promise now is that Mako's flow rate performance is going to exceed all the marketing claims we've made. And we'll deliver it as soon as humanly possible while meeting the specifications that we've placed for ourselves and the high expectations that we've communicated to, to you, our customers. As a small token of our appreciation for being patient with us and allowing us to do what we love, We'll be including an extra silicone boot and a vial of our plastic repellent paint in every pre-order place between June 25th, when we originally launched, and when we begin shipping out this first production batch. We're super excited to get Mako into your hands soon, and I'm confident that you'll love what we've created. Have a great day, and don't forget to stay zesty.